Welcome to a Friday Reads, where I talk about what I've read, what I'm reading, and what I hope to get to next. And as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail, I did acquire some new books. I only meant to acquire one, but something happened, as in I have awesome friends, and I have ambitious... <laughs> ambitious plans which are still all surrounding the tbr i posted earlier this month but it's like i want to read all the things this weekend because i actually don't have plans this weekend and i'm not going to get to all the things but i don't know i have ambitions we'll see what happens so first starting off what am i currently reading i am in the fourth lady trent book so this is the labyrinth of drakes is this is really good um <laughs> so each book's a different part of the world this one's more like um a desert territory like the middle east and things like that i will say that like my co-worker who's been loving this series is like well, i can't get the third book yet so i was just thinking about skipping from the second to the fourth because it doesn't really matter they're all separate expeditions no you must read them in order if anyone else was thinking of doing such shenanigans and i stopped her i was just like no because there's a character you meet in the third book and if you don't meet that character, you're not going to care about something in the fourth book. And I'm caring very much about that. So I am really liking the fourth book. It's a lovely time. I can't wait to binge the next one. Just like this series has just brought me so much joy when I'm like stressed at work. I just think soon you will be at home and you can put on your headphones and crochet and listen to Lady Trent. It'll be lovely. She also like sort of makes me think oh yeah science is fun and cool which sometimes i need little reminders of because she's so passionate about her love of dragons i i'm not talking about what this series is about i feel like i talk about it in every video lately if you want to know what this series is about check out my wrap up on wednesday i talk about it again there i think i talk about it in a tag video on monday if you are here and this is your first video hi i'm so glad you're here this is about dragons <laughs> and lady trent who i adore Another book that I've been getting back into that I started last month, House of Chains, which is very shiny today. I'm about this far now, so I was in part one last time I checked in, so now I've read about a hundred more pages. It's hard to say with these like really chonky tomes. I am really liking it, except uh, <laughs> everyone has two names now. <laughs> like, okay, things weren't complicated enough in Malazan, now characters get double names which is cool when you like notice oh this is this person and sometimes it is very blatant and like reminds you but it's like i have a hard enough time keeping track of certain side characters when they show up again much less like now characters that i already knew for multiple books have another name because of significant stuff and at least it always is tied to significance but um now we're in part two and i'm actually getting to meet people again who are in dead house gates which is really fun so once i finish part two i will add on to my spoiler thoughts video so working on that and also from last month i have continued with her body and other parties i will link down below the link for the chat on saturday morning at 11 30 a.m i think right now the link accidentally has it for p.m it's a.m we're not partying super late <laughs> to talk about this book and um eastern time also 11 30 a.m eastern time <laughs> And I am, I'm this far. I only have two stories left. Um, I think last time I talked to you guys, I had read the SVU story, which is like, I, I really like it. Like, I, I get, you know, we all rate on enjoyment to some degree. I understand that it's not going to be anyone's favorite. It's not my favorite. But man, like, points for originality. Like, so many points for originality. Like, if you hadn't seen the format of it, and I did annotate, but like, it's just like, uh, the title episode and like a synopsis and that's like a hundred like mm, 70 pages is that for the story and after that I read the story eight bites and real women have bodies both of which are very much conversations of one's relationship to one's body in one you look at it through the lens of losing your body and the other one through controlling your body kind of it's in I like eight bites more than real women have bodies mainly because I feel like real women have bodies is trying to do a lot and all of it goes over my head <laughs> or something like that it's just I don't I don't know exactly what it's trying to do but I, I really like this collection really excited to talk about it with some folks so I only have two left one I'm saving because I really liked it and it's based off the yellow wallpaper ish it's called the resident and then the following one is difficult at parties so really liking this reread and then uh I started a spooky read <laughs> started the changeling and i'm actually buddy reading this with tori at tori morrow so i will link her channel down below she's also one of the co-hosts for tome topple if you're interested in that later this month and i picked this up because um rachel from the shades of orange was like well if you want to try horror angela i think you'll like this book and she's right i am adoring this book but also it's scary 
<laughs> like, it's not super scary. I'm only this far in. But, like, at first, you start this story, and you're hearing about this main character, Apollo, as a kid and his family, and then you watch him make his own family. You're like, this is great. We're just in New York City. He's, like, he has a job as, like, a used book salesman. This is awesome. I like these characters. Oh, look at this cute family. Cue suspenseful, creepy things. <laughs> Like, so, and then, like, a thing happens, I'm just like, you know there's moments in a book where a thing happens and you have to reread to just be like, wait, re did that? Did that. And it did. <laughs> so, I, I keep reading this before bed because that's just, like, the time of day I've had to read this particular book because I've been reading the other ones on my commute. And I need to stop doing that because it keeps creeping me out and I keep being so into it. Like, it's a very page-turner read for me. <laughs> perfect for this time of year it's like so seasonal it is I think probably my level of spooky like in terms of like it's not like I'm not actually having nightmares about it but it does increase my anxiety like there's oh and like it's very much like a typical horror movie watching experience where it's like okay that stressful thing happened and now we're in the calm again like and I was able to stop the book once I was in the calm after the scary before we get to the next whatever so I'm really liking this, and I really like his writing. And I already have The Ballad of Black Tom as in um, novella that maybe I'll pick up this month if I have time. And there's also a short story collection called Slap Boxing with Jesus, which, like, I feel like I have to check out. Like, I need to understand what that short story collection is about. So I think those are the things I'm currently in the middle of. Now, what am I going to pick up next? I need to pick up In the Dream House, another Carmen Maria Machado. My book club meets on Monday. This is very short, and it's also, like, not even all the pages are filled completely. I also have the audiobook if, like, I really need to, and the audiobook's, like, five hours long. <laughs> um, so this is a memoir. So I'm hoping to start that um, when you're seeing this on Friday and just have the whole weekend to parse through this. I'm hoping it's a relatively engaging quick read, but I also know it has heavy material, so trying to give myself multiple days. It's less than 300 pages, so, like, it's one of those if I read 50 or 60 pages a day starting on Friday, I'll be good. And then I'll have read in the month two Carmen Maria Machados. And I love that they're the same height. And I love how their spines look together. The book collector in me gets so pleased by this. I'm not good at holding things to show you they're the same height, but they're the same height. I guess it makes sense. It's the same publisher. Don't love, like, the binding on them. They're a little tight binding-wise. And then then what do I read? I, I don't really know. I have options. Because, like I said, I don't have many plans this weekend, which feels good. Um, one I need to get to this month, and it's also thematic, and that's Vida Nostra. So this is a Ukrainian story. It was originally in Russian. I was wrong about this in my TBR. So it's Ukrainian, originally written in Russian, translated. This is a dark academia, weird story. That's all I know. Everyone who's been like, I don't know what I read. That was so confusing. I sometimes love things like that. So I should probably read this. And it's only 400 some pages, so maybe I'll pick this up. I also have, and this kind of goes into like my, my library haul. I picked up City of Lies, which is our patron buddy read. So like both of these are like Patreon things I need to get done. It's just a matter of when. And I'm really, I'm like itching for this. Like this is like that, the Angela fantasy vibes. I just like feel it and I like, I want to read it. And it's so, it's so floppy. I just want to. So if I'm in the mood for this instead of this, because these are different moods. So depending on the mood, I'll pick up one or the other. Um, also, after I finish Her Body and Other Parties, I have my next short story anthology I got on a whim. I actually have been meaning to read this one for a while, and it was um, Evie reading one of the stories in it that had me want to pick up the collection, and that's The Mythic Dream. Um, it has so many authors that I know. It has Shauna McGuire, Naomi Novik, Carmen Maria Machado, Amal Almortar, Rebecca Roanhorse, like so many authors that I know in here. And even some recurring ones that are like, for, I've known from other short story anthology collections. And I think thematically, this one's supposed to be around mythology. I'm unsure. I'm sure I'll figure it out if there is a cohesive theme or not. So I kind of want to start picking through this because I got it from the library and it's like a really pretty cover. So I don't know. And then of course I have the rest of my TBR and I could just like do whatever I want. I, what if I'm feeling like a romance this weekend? Maybe I'll just go read a romance. I don't know. I don't know what mood I'll be in. I just want to read. I just want to do all the reading. <laughs> and then I did buy one book. And actually, I bought this last month. I just picked it up um, this month. And that is The Boy With Fire, which I have read and talked about on the channel. I have a um, panel with the author. I just wanted a cover for my shelves. A cover. I just wanted a copy for my shelves because I really liked it and I want to reread it. And I knew that this copy would have um, like chapter headers and stuff like that. And I just 
when I really like a book I want a copy. And now I have two books that I wasn't planning on having or owning and I'm so excited. Like one of these has to go in the TBR next month. I'm like actually legit so excited. So this week's been a long week. Not a bad week by any stretch of the imagine, but it's it's long. They're, they're renovating my bathroom and well we have two bathrooms so we do have a bathroom but there's one bathroom that's being renovated and that like affects the whole, I don't know, flow of the apartment like getting to the kitchen is a process and then I've had a long week at work but it's been a good week at work and I come home after a long day and Ryan's like there's a package for you it's probably books I'm like I didn't I didn't order books and I'm like internally I'm like Evie what did you do and it was Evie <laughs> and she bought me two Louise Erdrich's books I got the Plague of Doves and the Roundhouse. And so if you don't know, these are the first two in kind of sort of a trilogy in her literary fiction works with the last one being La Rose, which I've already owned. This is actually the copy that I got for my grandma for Christmas to read and it got passed along the family and then no one was looking at it. And I was like, well, I want it back if no one's looking at it. So this is the third one and this one's the first one. So in theory, I wanna reread it in like this order. And so maybe I'll read The Plague of Doves next month. But like, this one was nominated for a Pulitzer. This one I think won the National Book Award. And I just, I love this book. <laughs> I love this book. Read it before booktube. But like, I think this is the book that convinced me that literary fiction, contemporary fiction can be so rewarding. This book convinced me that you don't need a plot for me to love your work. You can just write awesome characters. And I love her character work. So. I'm very very happy to be having these in my life <laughs> so yeah I don't know and if I if, if I have the energy and if things are put together enough I might vlog this weekend I don't know don't hold me to it there may or may not be a vlog and if I do vlog I'm setting up my Halloween decorations which normally they'd be up by now but like I said my living room is a mess <laughs> that's an understatement it's unusable <laughs> So like putting up my foliage and my like spider lights isn't like a thing right now But I'm hoping I'll be able to like read and decorate and like alternate between that and watching booktube just have like such a chill Weekend I knew I would start craving these weekends that I used to have last year once they were gone and people would want to hang out which like yay, but like I, My introverted self it just need it needs a recharge <laughs> Let me know what you're doing this weekend. What are you reading, watching, whatever. I did start Squid Game. We are halfway through. It's a ride. <laughs> if you want to leave an emoji, leave a dove because of the plague of dogs. Because I just cannot believe I have the whole set now. I'm, I'm legit so excited about this. Louise Erdrich is like my favorite non-SFF author. Like... If she wrote a fantasy book, I would just lose it. Okay, I would lose it. She has written a dystopian book and I like it a lot. So <laughs> anyways, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.